did you all see anything in the paper about Harry today? Mm -hmm. Over in the, in the Today section of the Herald, there was a little squib about him, mentioned Wally Briggs. Anyway, in 1954, I was playing the Keith in the Beggar's Opera. Uh, Three Penny came later. And Harry Dean Stanton, uh, as most of you know, went on to Hollywood to fame and fortune and, uh, and uh, became a star out there, uh, was playing Mr. Peachum. And a very fine actress, local actress, Jane Lambert, was playing Mrs. Peachum. Well, they both were sort of sensitive about being upstaged. <laughs> so uh, they started this particular scene. I think I can do this without falling off the edge. They started this particular scene right down the front, right at the edge. And one would say a line, and take a small step back up this the other, and then the other would notice what was happening, take another step back like this, and then they'd say a line, and then back up a little more, and then back up a little more, a little more. So finally, the scene was finished, and they were flat up against the back. <laughs> well, sometimes acting is a hazardous business. <clears throat> but uh, Noel Coward gives some very good advice to stage mothers. <laughs>
I'd say 80 or 85 years old. And he, uh, he saw me sitting there, he came over and he said, Oh, Bill, it's so good to see you again. Let me sing you a little song. And then in this full, rich, bass, baritone voice, at the table he sings, So we come to you. Well, I've always loved that song since then. And I equally like the one that follows. Thank you. 
1970, Phyllis Genes produced and directed uh, in the summer of 1970 on the stage at the uh, Man of La Mancha. And I had the good fortune to be cast as Don Quixote. Well, I started thinking, you know, at five feet eight, I began to feel like I probably was the shortest Don Quixote on record. <laughs> but uh, something happened in 1983 that made me reflect. Uh, I had this, uh, as I mentioned, this restaurant downtown and the cabaret. Well, one night, who should walk in but Jose Ferrer? Well, we were all thrilled to death, and I knew he played the role of uh, Don Quixote, so I asked him, I said, Mr. Ferrer, you know, it would be a great honor for us if you would come up and sing that number. So he said, well, I'd be glad to. So he came up and he sang one number, and he sang another number, and then he sang another number. <laughs> Finally, his wife said to me, for God's sakes, get him off the stage before he has a heart attack. <laughs> well, before he left, I was standing next to him, so I put myself up as far as I could and checked him. And by George, he was about a half inch shorter. <laughs> <laughs> That's a lot of tall. 